So you're wondering how to get that perfect oral hygiene routine that will leave you with nice, white, clean teeth like this. Well, we came to the right video. My name's Eli, I'm a fourth year dental student, and I'm here to tell you how you can achieve a smile like this. Let's get into so it. So I wanna preface this video by saying, this video may not be exactly what we learned to do in dental school, but this is what I've been doing for years. It follows what you are supposed to do, and it works for me. So I'd only tell you guys to do something that I know works for me, but everyone's different. Now when I say everyone's different, there are different nuances to your oral hygiene routine that you need to focus on depending on what your problem areas are. If you are more prone to gum disease, you need to focus more on the flossing, the water picks, antibacterial rinses like Listerine. Whereas if you are more prone to cavities, you need to focus on flossing still, but instead of an antibacterial mouth rinse, you may be more interested in a fluoride mouth rinse rather than an antibacterial mouth rinse. In this video, I'll explain all the things I use and all the things you may consider using. And I'll also make a clear difference between what I find to be essential and supplementary. So let's get into it. So my oral hygiene routine consists of three basic steps, not in the order shown. Flossing, toothpaste, mouthwash. It's pretty simple. These are the three basic steps that anyone needs to have in their oral hygiene routine in order to have a thorough routine. So first things first, an absolute essential string floss. No, not the floss pick or not the water pick. String floss floss is what is effective and efficient in cleaning in between your teeth. Now flossing is just as important as brushing your teeth. I promise you just take the extra minute or two minutes to floss. Why on earth would you sit down on the toilet and go number two and wipe the cheeks and not the crack? That is the same thing as brushing without flossing. So next time you think about brushing without flossing, Think about how nasty it would be if you did that. Now, string floss is the best way to clean in between your teeth. Just wrap about 18 inches of floss in between your two fingers on two different hands and put it in between each tooth. Wrap it around the tooth like a C and make sure you are going on two different surfaces in between each tooth. You should be doing the front of one tooth and the back of another tooth. Pro tip. You can self-diagnose yourself a little bit with your little piece of string floss. Did you know that? If you see blood or redness on your floss, that means you have gingivitis. If you smell your floss and it stinks, that means you have halitosis, your bad breath. I'm just joking. But that does mean your breath stinks. So you need to do a little bit of a better job flossing there. I also like to floss before I brush. However, it really doesn't matter which one you do first. Just make sure you're flossing. I like to floss before I brush because it helps me dislodge any food pieces that are stuck in between my teeth and then I can go in there and clean up with the brush. Other people recommend flossing after you brush because then you can kind of help spread the fluoride from the toothpaste in between your teeth. And that does make a lot of sense. I don't ever have problems with cavities, so this is not a nuance that is really that pertinent to me. But if you are someone that's cavity prone, you may want to consider flossing after you brush. Next thing you'll see me doing in the video is definitely supplemental. It's definitely extra, but it does help. I like to water pick real quick after I floss. I do a thorough job flossing, and then I go in between my teeth with the water pick real quick, and it really takes like 30 seconds to a minute. That just helps me make sure I'm getting everything. That's what you want to do when you're cleaning your mouth. Okay, next. I need y'all to pay very, very close attention here. I am using Listerine, which is an antibacterial mouthwash. If you look at this label, it lists all these things that are anti-plaque, anti-gingivitis. They are not fluoride, as you can see. This is not a fluoride mouth rinse. Therefore, I use the Listerine before I brush my teeth because my toothpaste has fluoride and I need the fluoride to stay on my teeth. So we'll get into this a little bit later, but have you ever heard someone say you're not supposed to rinse out your mouth after you brush your teeth? Yeah, they're right. So the mouthwash has the directions on it. Take about 30 milliliters, swish it in your mouth for like 30 seconds, and then spit it out. Now that that's done, we move on to the most essential part of the oral hygiene routine, brushing your teeth. I want y'all to see this before I start brushing. I do own a manual toothbrush and an electric toothbrush. I actually have two electric toothbrushes because those are the perks of being a dental student. Electric toothbrushes are more efficient in cleaning your teeth. But if you know the proper way of brushing your teeth, which I will demonstrate in this video, then you can clean your teeth effectively with a manual toothbrush. At the time that I was recording this video, I happened to be a little sick. 
If you don't know, you're supposed to change your toothbrush after you're sick, but I didn't want to get any bacteria on my electric toothbrush head or toothbrush, so I decided to use a manual toothbrush while I was so sick. So as you can see in this video, I'm using Colgate toothpaste, and I'll be completely honest with you, I prefer Crest. My favorite toothpaste is Crest 3D White, but this is toothpaste that I got for free in dental school, and that's what I'm gonna use. Still a broke dental student. Now, here. I'll be completely honest with you, toothpaste are really one and the same. You really just need to look at the active ingredients and make sure that it has fluoride. See this box? If you read the label right here, it says sodium fluoride. That is what you need. Now, I know that there are people out there that are anti-fluoride, and honestly, I don't know why. If you want to argue with me in the comments, we can do that. I'll go back and forth with you. I got time on my YouTube channel. So, I'm using a pea-sized amount of toothpaste. That is all you need. You do not need to waste toothpaste putting a whole bunch on your toothbrush. It's not that deep. Pea-sized amount for adults. Yes, perfect. The proper way to brush your teeth, we call it the modified bass technique. I am letting y'all all up in my mouth right now. I mean, look at the quality of this video. We are getting in there, okay? The modified bass technique. You can look it up if you'd like, but here's a brief explanation. You are supposed to point the toothbrush 45 degrees towards your gum line and brush down towards like your, your mouth. I don't know. Brush down. Like brush away from the gum line. There we go. Brush away from the gum line. Cool. You know what they say. Brush for two minutes. It's really not that hard. Everyone learned how to brush one day. But if you didn't, I'm here to teach you. Some people didn't because access to healthcare differs in different communities. Let's be equal here. So that's what I do. I brush my teeth for two minutes and I use the proper technique. And then at the end, this is something y'all bad breath people are forgetting. Brush your tongue. Please brush your tongue. <laughs> Please brush your tongue, okay? Last but not least, this is another supplemental thing. You should be brushing your tongue, but if you don't, I got a tongue scraper. I like to scrape my tongue too. I don't like my breath to stink. You see this white stuff coming off my tongue? That is not gunk. As you can see, I just finished brushing my teeth and I do not rinse out. I just spit out the toothpaste and there's still gonna be a little bit there, okay? So that's what that is. Watch yourself. Watch yourself, okay? Now that I'm done, I do a little bit of dancing, you know what I'm saying? I'm dancing a little bit, but of course, you know, I just did all that. I got to put some Vaseline on my lips. I got to put some Vaseline on my lips, okay? So let's break it down. What do we have here? Number one, floss. Number two, antibacterial mouth rinse. Number three, brushing my teeth without rinsing it with water. So I'm leaving the fluoride in there to sit on my teeth and make it strong. Alternately, if you use a fluoride mouth rinse, you can use that after as well. I think that was a pretty detailed explanation of an oral hygiene routine that will get you some nice white teeth like this, okay? If you have any questions, any questions, please leave a comment under the video and I will get back to you. That's the easiest way to get your question answered, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos about dentists, dental students, dental content, orthodontics, etc. Student Dr. Eli out. Peace.